Alright guys, it is a spectacularly gorgeous, over the top beautiful day here in, I don't know, Ithaca, New York. Is this, uh, <laughs> is this paradise or hell? Once again, I am stuck in this motherfucking loop-de-loop -loop of these goddamn one-way streets and no fucking left turn arrows and whatnot. I'm, uh, I'm in the middle of the slug wars, the slug wars of 2021. It is now Monday. What is that? We're halfway through June today. And, uh, just spent 22 more fucking dollars on Sluggo, Sluggo for organic gardening. So I guess iron phosphate is the trick. 22 more fucking dollars into these slugs. These motherfuckers, I mean, they have taken out my, my fucking garden. I've already spent about $22 in goddamn beer trying to drown these motherfuckers. I've, I've had to overseed. Good God, how many things have I overseeded? Uh, you know, we planted this motherfucking garden over three weeks ago. Right now, my goddamn garden, uh, you know, should be up and running in the, in the slimy little motherfuckers. Jesus fucking Christ. Never in my life dealt with, with, with any bullshit like these fucking slugs. They're tiny little things. They're, you know, I, I'm used to banana slugs, I guess, from, uh, <clears throat> you know, when I had my garden in Santa Cruz. You could just go out there at, at night and pick these disgusting fucking banana slugs, uh, and, and, you know, and just stomp on them. These little motherfuckers, they're, they're like an inch long. And there's, there's got to be hundreds of the motherfuckers. So anyway, I'm up here in Ithaca in the slug wars and various other things. You know, just, just dealing with clueless fucking morons. So I, you know, so, so I, we go in there and uh, I, I get the fucking sluggo. And there, there, there's one goddamn cash register open, it, it, it looks like. So I get in there and I get in line. Uh, I'm like the fourth person in line, then a fifth person, then a sixth person, then a seventh person, then an eighth person. We're all lining up like, like fucking little good little sheep in this clueless fucking moron cash register cashier at the cash register you know she reminded me of that goddamn uh, Tim Conway character at uh, you know on Carol Burnett you know the, the Tim Conway he was always playing the old man and moving with the speed uh, of a fucking slug and uh, th th this goddamn woman uh, just fucking, I, I mean, every fucking thing she was putting in the fucking cash register. I'm going, mother fuck, bitch. You know, Jesus fucking Christ, you old bag. And, and we're standing there and we're standing there and we're looking at each other and we're shrugging. And, and, I, and I finally say, fuck this. And, and, and I and I and I walk out of line. I walk in the, literally uh, about 40 fucking feet from now. A line of eight people d just slammed shut while this clueless fucking moron, uh, you know, like looking at every fucking item like she's deciphering a motherfucking Egyptian hieroglyphic. I, I, I walk fucking. 30 feet from this old bag and, and, and there's these two cashiers sitting there just gabbing uh, these two women sitting there just fucking blah, 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 not one fucking customer in sight uh, Jesus fucking Christ so I buy my fucking sluggo I walk back uh, you know into the fucking room where I just was and, and, and it's the same fucking person at the goddamn checkout line. And I announced to the line uh, 
I say, guys, just in case anyone here is interested, there, there's two cashiers, a, a 15 second walk from where you're standing uh, with their thumb up their asses with nothing to do. <laughs> and uh, this dude goes, thanks, thanks, guy. And uh, everyone just fucking leaves and heads into the other fucking room. You know, it's just dealing with fucking bullshit like this. So here I am at Lowe's now. So uh, you know we're turning the uh, we're turning the damn uh, shed. Remember that famous sh shed that we rolled across the lawn? We're turning it into a tiny house. And uh, so uh, now that the fucking shed is in place, and we've decided to turn it into a tiny house, I'm I'm trying to. Uh, build the foundation under the tiny house after we have placed the fucking thing there. Uh, it would have been real nice if I had had the brilliant idea to make this tiny house. So uh, I'm just doing the thing. What I've learned, what you do is, Skype. I've got Lowe's, Walmart, Tractor Supply, and Home Depot. They're all on the right side of the road. So just lined up the, uh, you know, all the big box stores. Well, well, guys, the trick is, is that Home Depot says it will not be undersold. And, and apparently this includes Walmart. So what I do is I, I go down the line to Lowe's, to Walmart, to Tractor Supply, comparing the identical fucking product. Okay, I, uh, I have my little list here, <clears throat> you, you know, uh, of, of, the different, uh, of the different stores. I jot down the prices, and I get to Home Depot with the best price, you know, with all of the prices, <clears throat> when I get to Home Depot. Uh, I have my whole list of prices. And I hand it, uh, I, you, you go up to customer service and say, can you match these prices? And they say, sure. Uh, it's got to be the identical item, you know what I'm saying, uh, which it usually is. And uh, so then uh, I just get everything at fucking Home Depot and head out the fucking door. So you got to learn to play the big box game. Uh, anyway, life in the fucking, life in the end times, plowing on. Big box, here I come. Bye guys.